Why do we love nostalgia? What is it that draws us to it? Modern society has almost become obsessed with reliving the past. Whether it's rewatching old 90s cartoons, going back to old video games, or bringing back old trends in music. But what makes this nostalgia so attractive, especially when talking about music? Nostalgia can be defined as a sentimental longing or wistful affection for the past, typically for a period or place with happy personal associations. Nostalgia can be felt when an old memory is brought up from one's past, usually from smelling a familiar scent, listening to an old song they had forgotten about, or tasting a favorite childhood dish. Nostalgia is a longing for the past, but doesn't always indicate that the present is worse. It is not inherently a sad feeling, but many nostalgic things can lead to a sort of sadness. So what makes a song nostalgic? Lyrics can be a big factor in nostalgia. Oftentimes, the song has something to do with how things used to be. Generally, the artist is looking back on a different time and sometimes wishing they could go back. Melodies can have a nostalgic element too. Many songs that have acoustic guitar as the main melody may end up sounding nostalgic. I don't know much of the technical side of music, so I can't speak on melody patterns or how to make a nostalgic melody. But for me, nostalgic melodies are usually very simple. A strummed chord progression on a guitar might be enough to take me back to another time. When I think of nostalgic songs, a few come to mind. One is Vomit by Microwave. It has lyrics looking back on how they used to only do this on the weekends, now it's almost every single night. It also has a mood that is longing for how things used to be. Another example is the second half of Absol's Just Have Fun. It features the oh my's and is another song with introspective lyrics that look back on the past and seem to evaluate the present. These days I see One more example is Gig Life by The World Is, which follows in the formula of reminiscing lyrics and an almost melancholy tone. But is nostalgia the same for everyone? In order to understand this question, we have to think about the audience. Someone who is in their early 30s would think of different nostalgic songs than someone who is a teenager. Maybe if you grew up in the early 2000s or 90s, it would be easier to feel that longing when you listen to a song from that era. You may also feel some nostalgia from listening to a band from today if they are emulating the same style that is portrayed in that time frame. For example, if you were a big fan of Nirvana and Pearl Jam when you were younger, you may feel the same way about new bands in the past few years that take influence from them. That same kind of grunge rock style may give you that special feeling because you grew accustomed to it at a younger age. But for a teenager who never experienced the grunge era, they may not feel anything when listening to Nirvana or bands that took influence from that time period. So are all songs from an era nostalgic? The short answer is no. To me, the song has to stand the test of time to be considered a good nostalgic song. Sometimes when looking back at an old song from my childhood, I think of them fondly until I actually revisit the song. If they don't hold up well throughout all the years, I think, why did I ever listen to this and move on? But if it does hold up, I find myself remembering how good it was and maybe even mentioning how it was ahead of its time. One song I can think of like this is Just Can't Get Enough by The Black Eyed Peas. Listening to it in 2019, I really do feel like it was pretty revolutionary, especially because it came out almost 10 years ago. So why do people like nostalgia so much? In my opinion, people like it because it makes them think about the past and sort of forces them to reflect on how far they've come. Many people that listen to music frequently can recall the specific time period in which they discovered a certain song just by hearing it in the present. Maybe it has something to do with growing up and getting older, or figuring out what life has in store for us. One way I see nostalgia affect me in music is when I listen to the album Harmlessness by The World is a Beautiful Place and I Am No Longer Afraid to Die from 2015. At the time, I was really struggling with my mental health and I didn't know what I wanted out of life or if I even wanted anything. I was still trying to find my way and discover myself in the process. 
Harmlessness hit me in that sweet spot in the heart that gives you goosebumps and makes you feel something special. It became one of the most important albums in my life and I still go back to it and get the same feeling. One song in particular, entitled Ra Patera Dance, always grips me for some reason. Especially the line that says, Open up the window and let the morning light in. I keep holding on to, I keep begging myself. Followed by, Today we are superheroes. Tonight we'll just be tired. I keep holding on to, I keep begging myself. Maybe nostalgia is a special time portal that opens up once in a while to give us a glimpse at what used to be. Maybe it's a way to show us how much has changed in any given amount of time, and a chance for us to evaluate our progress. Maybe it's something we can use to appreciate the past, but learn to live in the present. So next time you are in a moment that seems special, try to cherish it. Otherwise you'll be looking back on it fondly, just reminiscing in a few years. Wishing you could go back. This has been Ryan from A Valiant Effort. Consider leaving a like and subscribing for more. We also have a link to our Twitter and podcast in the description. And thanks for watching. Did you like this video? What should we do next? Let us know in the comments.